What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're gonna to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is currently down about 2% right now. We did see a bit of a sell-off recently. If you guys are looking for a new trading platform to use, if you're tired of logging in to multiple different exchanges to manage assets, well, go ahead and check out the CryptoWatch platform. It's the platform that I use in every video. You can actually manage all of your crypto assets all from one place. Definitely check out yesterday's video. Links are down below guys. Let's get started on the Bitcoin analysis. Right now, I'm looking at the asset card list here on CryptoWatch, and Bitcoin is currently down about 2%, a little bit over 2%. As it stands right now, Bitcoin is down 2.14% on the day, 2.23% on the week, and minus 4.32% on the month. And the only thing that is positive right now for Bitcoin is the year. We are currently up almost 90% on the year. So Bitcoin is still up 90% on the year. Although if you're looking at the trend since the first half of the year, things are looking pretty bleak for Bitcoin. So right now I'm looking at the three day chart, but I'm looking at Bitcoin on the linear scale. This makes it pretty clear that most of the gains have been wiped out for Bitcoin this year. Bitcoin is still up about 90%, but if you're looking from the bear market low, Bitcoin was up um, over 340%. And if you're looking at where we are now, we've wiped out almost all of those gains coming back down to up 130% since the bear market low. This is not good for market sentiment. If we take a look at the Google trends, Bitcoin's Google trends have not moved at all. It's pretty much just going sideways. We have found a point where, you know, pretty much interest has just completely flatlined. The low of the search terms in 2019 here in September was at a 25, the next low was at 25, the next low was at 24, the next low was at 24, and we're currently at a 25. So Bitcoin is holding steady at this level of interest, and the price of Bitcoin has really only been trending down. We can just type in something like Coinbase to see what kind of search volume we have for Coinbase, and look at a search term like buy Bitcoin and these search terms really have not moved very much at all. Let's just hop back into log scale here and then go ahead and look at the daily chart. Bitcoin is still trending well within this downward sloping price channel. We have been in a downtrend, of course, since we created these first initial anchor points to create this price channel. Um, ever since then, we have been on a downtrend. Uh, we created a bearish pattern, a bearish descent and triangle pattern. From the low, we went to you know up almost 350%. That's a really, really nice push to the upside. Although we are pulling back below that golden retrace level, which historically um, is very bearish for Bitcoin to do. This is something that's a slightly abnormal for Bitcoin actually to fall below that golden retrace level, which was for us was sitting at about 7,200. This was a bit abnormal for Bitcoin. We have different factors working against the price of Bitcoin right now. We have more exposure to the global markets. We have more products coming out of Wall Street that are controlling the price of Bitcoin, suppressing the price of Bitcoin. And we also have these Chinese Ponzi schemes dumping Bitcoin regularly. So there's a lot of forces working against Bitcoin right now. And that is why we're not really seeing all too much movement. And also, of course, guys, you know, the, the, you know, we're not really trending right now. Search volume is low. Interest is decreasing. All of this is totally reflecting in the charts right now. All of this is totally reflecting in the price of Bitcoin right now. We're kind of just stagnant, just trading sideways. Looking at the daily chart, we're actually kind of just trading in between horizontal support and horizontal resistance. If you're just looking this resistance box right here, and of course this support box right here, we're kind of just stuck in between these two support and resistance zones. Right now on CryptoWatch, I have my alerts set at 7,700 and 8,000. These are the two major uh, areas for this resistance box that we need to get through. Uh, you know, 77, 7,800 and 8,000, right? This is where we're seeing a lot of rejection. We're seeing lower highs coming off of this resistance box. And if you're just looking at this support area, uh, you know, the lowest point here was about 6430. And then of course, we were also bouncing off of 65, 20, 50, 65, 30, I should say. Right now, we're beginning to trend above the heart line. We had some rejection on the heart line of the price channel a few times here, uh, even in this area right here. 
and this has been a significant resistance point. Um, every time we do break above it, we usually see nice moves to the upside, although we are getting a slight, you know, we're slightly trending above it right now. Where we, you know, we actually broke above the hardline, came back, and we did use it as support, and we're now ranging above that area. So as long as we remain above the heartline, that is some good bullish progress, and if we can break above that resistance box, that would mean that we're exiting the downtrend, and that we're actually creating some higher highs on the chart here, and that Bitcoin could be looking for some bullish moves going into the halving period. Of course, that is only if we break above the downward sloping resistance and if we break above 8,000, right? But if we do range back below this heart line and we use it as a resistance again and we break below 6,400, just looking at the weekly chart now, going to be going back to the weekly chart, um, this would actually bring us into a really, really bearish situation because most likely at that point, you know, breaking below 6,400 means that we're breaking below previous market structure, major market structure right here, guys, right? So we would be breaking below major market structure if we break below that $6,400 level. In my opinion, we'd be looking to test possibly closer to the resistance zone of the bear market at, at that point. So first, we're going to be looking at the 21-week EMA. This is a pretty significant moving average for Bitcoin historically. In the last bear market, you know, once we began testing below it and testing above it, this is when the market became much more bearish and we had that breakdown. I'm looking at the Coinbase chart right now, so the history is, is not all too long. But the last time we had a break above the 21-week EMA coming out of a bear market, we held, we held above the 21-week EMA all the way until the peak of our bull market and when we entered our bear market. But the difference here, guys, is that we broke below the 21-week EMA again, right? This yellow line here, we're trending below the 21-week EMA. The next key indicator is the parabolic stop and reverse indicator. This has been a pretty great indicator for me in the past. Um, you know, we, we usually trend with the parabolic stop and reverse indicator for long periods of time. And once you get that bullish flip, right, that's when you start to see um, much more bullish moves. And similar thing happened here in the bull market to bear market. Uh, we were holding above the parabolic stop reverse indicator for quite some time here. And then once we had that bearish flip, we remained, you know, holding below that, you know, trending with the parabolic stop and reverse indicator um, all the way down to 6,000. So if we can manage to get a bullish flip on the parabolic stop reverse indicator, and we can actually have this the parabolic stop reverse indicator trend to the upside for more than a week, more than a week, guys, you know, would be a pretty good sign that Bitcoin is looking for a reversal. Um, you know, that is another indicator that I'm looking at right now. So keep an eye on these two key indicators, guys, the 21 week EMA, the parabolic stop reverse indicator. And of course, guys, more importantly, just the overall downward sloping price channel, the overall downward sloping price channel is really the best thing to keep your eye on you know, just in general, because this is really what we're, this is where our trend sits, right? We are trending within this downward sloping price channel. And if we get a clear break out of the price channel in either direction, of course, that's going to be a major signal. Right now, we're kind of just, you know, pretty neutral. Uh, you know, obviously, obviously, we're bearish, but we're kind of just trending, you know, between support and resistance. And uh, things are not, you know, not all too much changes are going on just yet. So these are the things that I'm looking out for, for the price of Bitcoin right now. Um, just a few things I wanted to share with my viewers. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, be sure to click the description, check out all those links. I do have a Discord channel you can join. Um, check out yesterday's CryptoWatch overview video, and I will see you guys in the next video.